my story I wanted to share with you. So somebody sent me an email this morning. Uh, Christina, you'll like this. It, it, he said, Claude, uh, um, I, I do marketing and um, I see all your videos and I'd like to help you edit your videos. And um, I will do I will do one for free. And I, you know, I'm always curious because I like to talk to people every day. My rule of five, you guys all know that. Speak to five people a day. Real, the, the simple short version. Uh, it doesn't matter. It could be the Walmart greeter or some, but hopefully it's clients. So anyway, um, the guy. It was a personal email. It was directed to me. It wasn't one of those copy and paste send to ten thousand people emails. It was personal. And inside the email, guess what he forgot to pl put in there? Oh, his contact. His contact. It, there was no phone number. There was no web page. And there was no, uh, and I think this is a biggie, a link uh, to a scheduling system. And I think mm -hmm. every time you send out, if you send out an email or contact somebody, um, you know, and I was going to call him. I wanted to call him and pick his brain or something. You know, or convert them. Sometimes I call people who are trying to sell me and I end up selling them. You want to have a lot of fun, you know, turn it around the other way. Someone who wants to sell you a house or finance a house or anything, turn it around and maybe you can maybe you can do business with them. So I wrote them back and I said, gee, it would be nice if you put some contact information. I would have called you back. What do, what do we always talk about on Monday? What's the best thing in the world? Call, a prospect who calls you. Yeah. How wonderful is that, right? So here's a guy who had a, a prospect, okay, and he didn't give me the opportunity to connect directly with him. So then mm -hmm. I, I wrote him back and I, I said, you know, be nice if you put your contact information in or something like that. So he he wrote me he, he wrote me back and he put in his schedule, Calendly, Calendly, Calendly link. Cat Calendly, yeah. In, in there. But he, and my email has my phone number, my web page, and a link to schedule with me. Do you think he would have called me back right away? Because that's what I would have done to a prospect who responded to me. I, I pick up the phone and call him right away. You know, hi, Nate, I just got your email. Hey, so good. It's so nice of you to contact me. Uh, what did we want to talk about today, Nate? Come on. It's role play Wednesday. <laughs> I just got myself unmuted. Uh, I wanted to talk to you about uh, these new video uh, projects. There's a lot of platforms, TikTok, YouTube. I know you're doing a lot of content. And so I wanted to see how I could help you out. Oh, that's so nice of you. What, what, what do we do next? And then, and, 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 and th this is what would have happened if, if he gave me a phone number, but he was mm -hmm. scared to give me a phone number. So I wrote him back. I said, you still didn't answer my original email. I said, tell you what, why don't you come on Zoom Justin today and you can you can sell me and you can sell all the people going to watch this video. I'm going to give you an opportunity. And then he wrote me back, well, I'm busy at that time. <laughs> and I wrote him back. I said, did you just hear that sound? That was success leaving the building. Oh, wow. I'm sorry. I'm not snippy. I'm not trying to be nasty wow. here. But how many times? 